All right, everyone, welcome to Conceptual Physics Projectile Motion, The Adventures of Rolina. Here we go. Uh, just jumping right into it, let's think about what projectile motion is with an example. How will the ball roll off the cliff? Will it look like A, B, or C? So we're having this ball have some motion over here, and we're thinking about when it rolls off, how it's going to look like. Of course, like, how it rolls off is going to depend on how fast it's going, but let's think about the general direction. Is it going to be like A, where it's like pretty much going to be going, and it's just going to kind of fall flat? Or is it going to be like going, and then mostly just like falls flat? Or does it have more like C, where it just like going, goes like that? Okay, so those are the options there. Pause it if you want to think about it. And uh, But how it's going to look like is it's going to look like option C. And what's important to know with projectile motion is that when something is a projectile is going through the air, it's going to be both moving in the x direction and the y direction. And it's moving in the y direction because of gravity. Gravity is what's pulling it down, either slowing it down or speeding it up, depending on which way it's going. Okay, so more looking into it. Projectile motion is a form of motion in which an object called a projectile moves both in the x direction and y direction under the action of gravity only. When dealing with projectile motion, air resistance is negligible. If a ball is thrown, okay, so now let's think about the snare. If a ball is thrown in the air at an angle, draw how the ball will appear to move through the air. Okay, so we have this ball here. Let's say this ball is thrown this way as shown. How is it gonna look? You know, is it gonna look like that? Is that how it's gonna look through the air? Is it gonna look like, is that how it's gonna look through the air? Like, it might kind of seem like a silly question, but it's like, you know, cause we see this every day, but how is it gonna look? And, you know, think about it, draw it down if you want, and let's see how it looks. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to the next slide. So what we, what we should see from this is the parabolic motion of projectiles. And we should know that when something is going has a projectile motion, it has a parabolic motion. As you can see with this water here, it has this parabolic motion. As you can see with this fireworks here, as it's getting shot out, it's moving the X and the Y in this parabolic motion. Same with these sparks, they all have this parabolic motion to them. Okay? So that's how we should see projectiles. They have this parabolic motion as they're moving through the air. Okay, some more notes. When projectiles are moving through the air, they're moving in the two dimensions simultaneously, the X and Y uh, direction. In the X direction, it will move with a constant velocity with nothing making it go faster or slower while it's in the air. So let's kind of look at this motion in the X direction. So in this scenario, we're pretending that there's no gravity, so it's not gonna be moving in the Y direction at all. A cannonball is just fired directly horizontally as you can see. And then, you know, it, because of that, a lot of times people will think like, oh, maybe through the air it's gonna go faster or slower. But no, after it leaves the explosion of the cannonball or after if you throw a ball in the X direction, it's gonna have a constant velocity in this X direction. Meaning that every second that passes, it's gonna be moving the same exact amount. In this example shown here, every second passes, it moves 30 meters, okay? So it's not accelerating in the X direction, it's not getting faster in the X direction, and it's not slowing down in the X direction. Okay, in the Y direction, gravity pulling down on it, making it accelerate downward at about 10 meters per second squared. Okay, so it's gonna be making it accelerate, and this is kind of the same thing as free fall. So, the speed, you know, at the very beginning in the y direction, if it gets shot out horizontally, at the very beginning, the speed's gonna be zero, but then it's gonna be going faster down 10 meters per second. The next second's gonna be going 20 meters per second. The next second's gonna be going 30 meters per second. Remember, this is 10 meters per second squared. What that means is every second, it's gonna be changing its speed by 10 meters per second, okay? Um, and when we look at both of them, when it's moving the X and Y, this is how it's going to look like. It's going to be going at a constant velocity in the X direction, but it's going to be going faster and faster in the Y direction. Okay. 
A ball is thrown off a cliff horizontally at 15 meters per second. How fast is the ball moving in the X direction for points A, B, and C shown in the diagram? Okay, pause it if you like. Um, but if not, we should know that when it's thrown like this, you know, at the very beginning, it's thrown horizontally at 15 meters per second, that it's going to be 15 meters per second at every point. In the X direction, it's not getting faster or faster at all, and it's not getting slower or slower at all. Okay, next one. A ball is thrown off a cliff horizontally at 15 meters per second, so same as last problem. How fast is the ball moving the Y direction for every point A, B, C, and D shown in the diagram? Okay. I'll pause it if you like. Uh, the arrows here kind of give it away a little bit, but anyway, we should know right when it's thrown at the beginning, we should know that the velocity in the Y direction is zero, okay? Because it's thrown horizontally, it's not moving in the Y direction at all. What we should know is that after the first second, Gravity is equal to uh, negative 10 meters per second squared, right? That's the acceleration of gravity. So we should know after one second, it's going to be moving negative 10 meters per second. That's its velocity. Okay, the speed would be just 10 meters per second. And the y direction after two seconds, it's going to be, again, changing speed by another 10 meters per second. So this will be negative 20 meters per second. And after three seconds, again, we should know it's going to be negative 30 meters per second. So every second, gravity is going to be changing the velocity in the y direction by negative 10. Okay. Uh, okay. How fast? Oh, just saying how fast. That's why it doesn't include the negative. But anyway, if you, okay, moving on. A ball is thrown off a cliff horizontally at 15 meters per second. Again, same thing. How far is the ball moving in the x direction every second? Okay. So again, we should know a few things about the x direction. In the x direction, the acceleration is zero because it's not slowing down or speeding up. And that means that the velocity in the x direction is constant. So what, again, it's a little bit of a summary. If it's moving 15 meters per second at the very beginning, it's going to be moving 15 meters per second here, 15 meters per second here, and 15 meters per second there. So if it's moving 15 meters per second, let's just think about what that means it's moving 15 meters every second. So in the x direction, we should know that this should be 15 meters, this should be 15 meters, and this should be 15 meters. Every second in the x direction, it should be moving 15 meters every second. Okay? All right, now let's look at this. A ball is thrown off a cliff horizontally at 15 meters per second. What is happening to the distance of the ball in the y direction every second it is falling? Okay, so let's think about the y direction. Again, we know the object in the y direction is going to be having an acceleration of negative 10 meters per second squared, meaning it's getting faster and faster in the y direction uh, every moment it's in the air. So what that should mean is, you know, at the very beginning, uh, maybe it moved just a little bit of a distance, but then the next second it's going to be moving further. And this next second after that, it's going to be moving further because it's getting faster and faster every moment it's in the air because gravity is pulling down on it. That means in the Y direction, it's going to be moving more and more of a distance. So every second is moving further and further down. This because it's getting faster and faster as it goes down. I hope that makes sense. We can actually do the calculation for it, but it does take a while. So I'm going to skip that for now. But every second it's going down, it's getting faster and faster, meaning it's moving further and further. Okay, let's look at this. A projectile is thrown from the ground at an angle depicted in the diagram below. So it's this projectile is moving in the y direction initially at 30 meters per se second and the x direction at 10. So let me just write that down, 10 and 30 meters per second. And uh, initially the projectile is moving 30, okay, I read, read that. Fill in the blanks to find the speed of the projectile in the x and y direction every second it is in the air until it hits the ground at six seconds. So we see every second. So at the beginning, this is time zero, one second, two second, three second, four second, five second, six second. And we want to fill in the blank. Okay, after one second, what's the velocity in the x and what's the velocity in the y? 
This may look overwhelming at first, but take a pause and I'm sure you can figure this out. Um, but we want to know every second how fast it's going in these two directions. Okay, so let's first think about the x direction. We should know again, the acceleration is constant. Uh, well, the acceleration is zero in the x direction, so the velocity is constant. So if it's going 10 meters per second at the beginning, that means it's going to be going 10 meters per second every moment it's in the air, in the x direction. Uh, acceleration in the x is equal to zero. We should know acceleration in the y is equal to negative 10 meters per second squared. So every second, it's going to be changing its velocity by negative 10 meters per second. So if it starts with 30 meters per second, that means in the next second, we're going to add negative 10 to that. So it's going to be 20 meters per second. The next second, is going to, we're going to add another negative 10. So it's going to be 10 meters per second. Next second, we're going to add another, another negative 10. So that's going to be 0 meters per second. So notice at the very top, it's not uh, the velocity in the y direction is 0. There's still velocity in the x, but the velocity in the y is 0. The next second after that, 0, we're going to add negative 10 to that. So it's going to be negative 10, and so on and so forth. What we should also be able to see, oh, okay, so if we look at the answers, yeah. What we should also be able to see is that if we split this down the middle, there they are kind of the same speeds at each other. The direction, some is negative and some is positive, but it's going to be the same exact thing. Over here is 30 and 10. This is also 30 and 10. Sure, this one is going down, but it's the same. This one over here is 20 and 10. This one over here is also 20 and 10. This one's going down, but it's the same. So it has that kind of symmetry. Okay, let's move on. While this projectile is moving in the air, what is happening to the distance the object is traveling in the x direction? Every second is in the air. A, it is traveling further and further. B, it is traveling less and less. C, it is the same every second. D, it is impossible to tell. Take some time. We did go over this, but it takes a while to get this pounded. So we should know it is the same every second. And again, we should know that because the acceleration, the x is zero. So it's not slowing down, it's speeding up. So if it has the same speed every second, it's going to be moving in the x direction the same amount every second. Okay. While this projectile is moving in the air, what is happening to the distance the object's traveling in the y direction every second it is in the air? Okay, so let's uh let's kind of ignore this diagram for now. Oh, where are we? Okay. I'm just going to be looking kind of something like this. Okay. So as it's going up, we're thinking about what's happening to the uh, distance it's moving in the y direction as it's going up and as it's going down. So uh, A says it travels further and further as it goes up and less and less as it goes down. B says it, is, it travels less and less as it goes up and further and further as it goes down. C is it is the same every second as it goes up and down. D is impossible to tell. So what we should know is as it's going up, the acceleration is equal to negative 10 meters per second squared, acceleration to y. So as it's going up, it is slowing down. It's slowing down as it's going up. So that means it's going to be traveling less and less as it goes up. And as it comes back down, it's going to be speeding up. It's going to be speeding up as it goes down because gravity is pulling it down, making it go faster and faster. So it's going to be going further and further as it goes down. Hope that makes sense. Kind of watch it back. It, it, there's a lot of words here, so it could be quite confusing. But that's what's going to be happening. Okay. Uh, interesting thing here. There's a video on the next slide to see this. Um, but there are two objects. On a cliff, one object is thrown horizontally at uh, a speed of 20 meters per second. So let's look at this. Let's say this one is thrown at 20 meters per second horizontally. And that doesn't look exactly horizontal. So let me change that. Oh, horizontally. Good. At the same time, the other object, too, is dropped from the cliff. Okay, so this one, we'll call this one. 
in this one too. Which object will hit the ground first? So is object one going to hit the ground first or is object two going to hit the ground first? Which one? The one thrown, the one dropped, both will hit the ground at the same time. Pause if you want to take some time to think about it, but here we go. The answer is both will hit the ground at the same time. And that might sound a little bit confusing, but there's a few explanations for it. But I think the simplest explanation is both the one and two are going to be traveling the same distance in the y direction. So they're going to have the same dis displacement in the y direction. And also in the y direction, they both start out with the initial velocity in the y direction of zero. Sure, this one is number one is moving in the x direction, but it's not moving in the y direction at all at the beginning. And we should also know they're both getting pulled down by gravity, negative 10 meters per second squared. So if they're traveling the same distance in the y direction, they have the same speed at the very beginning in the y direction, and they have the same acceleration in the y direction due to gravity, they're both going to hit the ground at the same time. Okay. And here's a video, um, maybe your teacher will show you, of uh, it looking like that, so you could watch that video. Okay, and they also do this experiment on Mythbusters that you can also watch. Okay, C next example. A car is moving with a constant velocity of 10 meters per second. Okay, so we're saying this car is moving 10 meters per second, 20 miles an hour around. A passenger decides to open the window and throw a ball straight up into the air. So this passenger here decides to open the window and throw the ball straight up into the air. When the, air ball, when the ball falls back from the point it was thrown, where will the ball be? Will it be behind the car? Option A. Will it be ahead of the car? Option B. Or will it be right where the person it will land back to where the person is which one is it um and what that's going to be is it's going to be option c and the reason for that is because again when this ball is thrown this car moves at a constant velocity and when this ball goes in the air it also has a constant velocity in the x direction and it's not going to speed up, it's not going to slow down in the x direction, so it's going to land right back from where it was thrown. Uh, there's also another video showing that, uh, so hopefully your teacher will show that, and that'll be good. Okay, a bit of a summary, this is the last slide here, of uh, projectile motion concepts. Again, I feel like hopefully I've beaded this to death, but horizontal motion is always constant, no acceleration, okay? If this ball is thrown like this, the velocity in the x is always 10 meters per second. It's not getting slower or faster. Vertical motion is always negatively accelerating because of gravity. So you can see as if it's thrown up, it's going to be slowing down. And then it's going to be speeding back up in the uh, negative or downward direction. The horizontal motion of an object has no effect on the vertical motion of an object. Okay, so whatever's happening in the x, in the horizontal direction doesn't matter what's happening in the y. So kind of like with this example here, even though this thing is moving really fast in the x direction, in the y direction, it's exactly the same as option two. So the, what's happening in the x doesn't really affect what's happening in the y direction. Uh, the only variable that the horizontal motion and vertical motion have in common is the time it's in the air. Okay. And we should know, just like free fall, if we throw something, when it reaches its climax or its apex, uh, it's going to take the same amount of time to go all the way down. So if it goes, it takes four seconds to go to reach its climax, it's going to take four seconds to reach back to where it was thrown from, or the same level it was thrown from. All right, I hope that helps. We're going to be doing more mathematical problems later on with the topic of zero launch angle. So I hope to see you with that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.